Broken water mains not only interrupt surface and pose a danger to property, they provide an opportunity for contamination to enter the distribution system. Isolate the broken section of pipe by closing all but one of the surrounding valves. This will prevent any contamination or pressure loss from affecting surrounding areas and help minimize disruption to a larger number of customers, as well as the possible impact on plant and distribution operations. It's important to keep one valve at least partially open to keep pressure on the main and water flowing out of the break. A constant flow of water from the leak will prevent dirt and debris from getting inside the pipe and contaminating the water. It also prevents customer service lines from draining and creating back siphon conditions. For the safety of the crew, the line that is leaking will sometimes have to be completely isolated and shut down. Another aid in preventing contamination is the excavation itself. The opening should be large enough for workers to stand next to the pipe while making repairs. Dig to expose the pipe, top, sides, and bottom, for several feet on each side of the break. The excavation should be deep enough to keep the water level one to two feet below the bottom of the pipe. A sump hole will also help keep water drained. Dig it one to two feet lower than the bottom of the excavation in one corner. Water can be pumped from the sump hole to help keep water out of the work area. Rocks or a bucket with holes can be used to prevent mud from clogging the hose or being pumped into the street and storm drain. Some local regulations may require permits to discharge muddy water into storm drains. Be sure to identify where dewatering and runoff water will occur and mitigate its impact when possible. Once the pipe has been exposed, it can then be determined what type of leak has taken place, which helps dictate the appropriate repair equipment and process. Repairs vary depending on the type of pipe. 